Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is April the 21st. It is currently 10 degrees outside and cloudy. Looks like there's going to be a bit of rain throughout the day into a mild weekend. Please stand for the land acknowledgement, O Canada, and morning prayer. As we gather on these lands, our Catholic social teachings, cause and solidarity with Indigenous people to honor and respect the four directions as well as the lands, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors that walk before us. As settlers, we recognize the rich historical and modern traditions of the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people who have contributed to the success and prosperity of Canada. In particular, we acknowledge that we are on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabek Nation, the people of the three fires known as the Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi Nations. We give thanks to the Saugeen First Nation and the Chippewas of Nawash Unceded First Nation, known collectively as the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, as the traditional keepers of this land. Together we strive towards truth, reconciliation, and the ongoing healing of our relationship through consultation, education, and learning. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today's reading is from the Gospel of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God's great love for us is shown by his sending his Son, Jesus, to be one of us, to be our brother and our friend, to show us how to live and how to share eternal life. God knew that assuming human nature and dealing with all the situations we run into was not going to be easy. So he gave us the best he had as a role model, his son, Jesus Christ. And the best news is that after his ascension, Jesus is here for us 24-7, as the expression goes. Believe in Jesus and tap into the power and life he makes us available to us every moment of every day. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, help us to be aware of your availability and your presence as we struggle to live our lives like you lived yours. Amen. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations to our badminton teams who represent our school at Kwasa. Sam King and Brooke Knight and Jadal Hodge and Sammy Noko Walk played for the, the juniors and had a great day. Xavier Legacy placed third in boys singles yesterday for the senior team. Great job everyone and look forward to playing next year. A reminder to track and field athletes, there is a lunch practice today for high jumpers and hurdlers. Also practice tomorrow morning for those who can make it. Anyone residing in Mild May Carrick that will be 17 years old by August 1st and is interested in signing up for the Mild May Homecoming Ambassador Pageant, please see Mr. Chouette for an application form 
or more information regarding the volunteer expectations for the weekend. The following students have Chromebooks or power banks that are due back in the li library. Wyatt McDougall, Alex Antoni, Nick Vellard, Eric McNeil, Caitlin Watcher, Carson Jeffrey, Corey Heron, Peyton Wells, Isabel Young, Addison Mechzer, um, Alex Wiseman, and Nicholas Howold. Reminder to check your emails for overdue library notices. For those interested in applying for a co-op position at one of our local hostels, today is your last day to do so. Applications are due today. Please see Ms. Turcotte for details. Today is Disney trivia in the library. Mr. Chouette sa says that his favorite Disney movie is Up. Answer the five questions about Up. Bring your friends, work together, answer the questions, and show off your knowledge for a chance to win a prize. And for birthdays, today we have Haruna Nataki. On Saturday we have Colby Schmidt. And on Sunday we have Curtis Antle, Isamu Smith, and have a good day, safe at heart.